I know the word convert scare a lot of y'all when it comes to changing that Epson 8550 to a DTF printer. So I'm going to do y'all a favor. I'm actually going to show y'all how to do the entire setup on the computer for completely free. And I'm going to do it within this 10 minutes. So let's get to it. All right, so make sure y'all save this video so you can always refer back to it if you want to go ahead and make transfers from home and convert this Epson 8550 to DTF. So after you remove the rollers and put your ink into your printer, when you first get it, first we need to download the Epson 8550 driver. So all you got to do is go to Google, type in this right here, Epson 8550 driver download. It's the very first one. Click on it. As soon as you click on it, it's going to make you accept. So hit accept. And then you're going to scroll to where it says choose your operating system. You have to have Windows 10 or Windows 11. Those are only operating systems that's going to work. After you do that, hit go. After you choose it, then it's going to give you the option to download a big blue button right here. This is what you're downloading. All right, so after you install it, we're going to go to our computer settings. So just go to the search at the bottom, type settings. You're going to go to Bluetooth and devices. Then you're going to go to printers and scanners. You're going to choose the Epson 8550 series, the regular one, not the DTF. So click on it. Then go to printing preferences. And if yours look like this, then you install the driver correctly. If yours does not look like this, then you did not install the driver correctly and go try again. But also, if yours doesn't look like this, go back and see maybe if you have another 8550 series, like maybe I have one right here, and click on that and see if it looks like this screen right here. So find this screen in simplest terms. If you can't find it, re-download the driver. Then you go to maintenance, then you click on extended settings, then you wanna make sure these first two are unchecked, check the third and fourth one, hit okay. All right, next you wanna pull up CadLink. This is the software that's needed to print the t-shirts with the Epson. You need this software. If you don't have it, you cannot do my process. You cannot make t-shirt transfers. There's no way around it. Stop asking. You need the software. So you can either get the trial for 15 days or you can go buy the full version for $3.95 right now on my page. But let me show you how to set it up. So first you'll go to Q and then you'll go to manage queues. Then you want to make sure you have the Epson 8550 DTF V2 installed. If you don't have it, just hit the green plus sign, hit next, go to install printer and find it on the list. Make sure that it is the V2 option. If it does not have V2 at the end, then you, my friend, are choosing the wrong one. And yeah, this whole video it's pointless to continue to watch, but you'll find it and you choose it because I already have it installed. It's not going to show on mine, but it'll be down there. Next thing you want to do is where it says port. If you're printing on Wi-Fi, then you go to TCIP network. If you have a cable in, which I prefer that you do, it will say Epson net. Right now, my printer is not plugged up, but if it was, it'll say Epson net right there. That's the one you'll click on. You'll make sure that this is installed. You know that it's installed when it says remove. If it's not installed, it will say install. So all you do is click the button, hit install. After you do that, close it. Then once you do that, go to Q, go to set ink order. However you put your inks in the printer, is how you'll put your inks right here. This bottom row is how you will put your inks in. Make sure you have white and white too. If you only have it on white, it will not give you an okay button. Make sure one says white, 
One says white too. It doesn't matter which one says white or white too. It just matters that they're both in the right spot based on how you put it inside the printer. All right, cool. Now, this is the part where you're going to have to kind of pause me and, you know, keep referring back to this video. You want to go to Q and then properties. And we're going to start with media setup right here where it says name. Choose the size paper that you have. I have 13 by 19, which is the biggest size. So that's the one that I'm going to have selected. Then you want to go to layout manager. The thing that's important here is the mirror job on import. Make sure that is checked. Everything else doesn't matter. It should already be checked if you didn't come in here and mess with anything. But mirror job on import should be checked. All right. Next is going down to color layer. And then we're going to start with processing options. So after you go to processing options, you want your eight under base strength to be at least 80 to 100 percent. You can choose if you're doing images that have mostly black, then I prefer to do 90 to 100 percent. But 80 percent is a really good place to start off at maximum ink 85 choke prime for everything else you see it keep it there printer options your may not look like this all you need to worry about is changing your print speed to fast and your direction to bi-direction that's all you need to worry about don't worry about all this other stuff then hit okay then you my friend are ready to print and I showed you how to do everything on the computer in less than 10 minutes. Now, some other tips and tricks for the people that decided to stay and watch this full video. <laughs> Sorry to the ones that didn't. When you import your image with this green plus sign right here, bring your image over. You want to make sure that your image is always at the very top of the paper. This one right here, center at the top of the page. But you see how I got this little space in between where the image starts in right here. I would probably want to crop this. So I will go to crop and then I will use this box once my image loads and bring it closer to the paper. Because most printers have to print with tape, you want to always, 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 always make sure that your image is cropped as much as it possibly can and get as close as you can to the top of the image without cutting anything off. Hit create. Then um, after that, put it back to the top of the page. Because most printers have to use tape, you wanna make sure that your image prints at the very top where the tape is. That's why some people get that thin line or they get the image not printing the full thing is because the printer can't read the paper. So that's why you need the tape and you need your image to start printing on the tape. Try the thin blues, blue painter tape and also try the thick one. Uh, try both of those and definitely should work. But this is a very short, brief tutorial on how to do the software and CAD link so you can go ahead and get printing. Peace.